Hello, in this video you will see how you can create uh, an Excel spreadsheet uh, using c .NET 9 specifically, and specifically in this case using closed XML uh, library. Now there are plenty of libraries available, this one is free. Uh, you can use it, of course, always uh, read the documentation before getting uh, them, uh, read the licenses and all that. Uh, uh, but basically for this example we just have uh, a very simple, straightforward arrangement. Uh, we create uh, a table of products uh, and then we also add a little formula inside them. You will see how straightforward it is uh, and uh, this does not require any sort of calm interaction or anything like that, uh, how it used to be before. This can be used uh, throughout uh, all the um, environments. Uh, where, where you can have .NET 9 specifically, uh, but also you will be creating this. So now if we insert for example another item the total right now is 100 so if i add 5 it's gonna be 105 so formula works everything works so we just insert something and then you actually use it as spreadsheet so we do the calculation via the formula and then someone else who gets the spreadsheet can actually modify it so it's not uh, sort of pre-calculated in c sharp it's uh, calculated directly in the excel that way someone who gets it they can modify it now the code itself, uh, relatively straightforward here. We will establish a workbooks and everything else, but of course, first of all, we need to install it. Uh, the library again is called uh, Closed XML. It's uh, quite a popular one, as you can see from the downloads here. Uh, it is, uh, It does certainly work. It's quite useful. So Closed XML, just install that in order to use it. And then in the code, uh, the first thing we do, just like we usually do with these arrangements, we establish a workbook. So uh, if it's some Word library, it will probably be a Word document we establish and then add stuff to that. Uh, uh, but here it's uh, Excel. So just like most of these libraries, we use, uh, uh, we, we create, we construct a workbook. And to a workbook, uh, we can add the sheets. You can, of course, add several sheets. So you might have one worksheet, you have a second one. You can name them in different ways. So you can modify the names, but in this case, we use uh, from workbook, we use worksheets add. And in the add, we already provide the name. So that will be set, as you saw in the example. Uh, the title uh, for the worksheet is set. Uh, now, to add uh, basically anything to uh, the sheet itself. In this case, so we kind of construct a table, so we add the data and we add the headers. Uh, however, basically, whatever cell you want to use, you will need to add a value to that cell. So first of all, from the worksheet now, not from a workbook, but from a worksheet, whichever worksheet you're working with, you retrieve the cell based on its uh, uh, sort of uh, numeration in the actual Excel, so it's not like you have to go by indexes or not indexes. So some libraries do have, uh, um, this is probably a more convenient approach because you're going by the sort of Excel standard rather than uh, it's a one and one or zero and zero and you have to work with that. This is uh, quite a bit more convenient. So you have A1, B1, C1, and then you'll get A2, B2, C2 going uh, down. And of course, going to the left, that's going to be to the right, rather, that will be D and uh, E and F and all those other letters. Uh, so quite a convenient structure working with Excel. Basically, we just get those. We don't need to create a cell. Cells are already there, right? In Excel, they're already there. So basically, we just populate the cells so with whatever we want. Now, it could be right here. We have apples for the product uh, column. We have apples and we have a value 50. So it can be uh, a number. It can be text. If you want to do text, of course, it's going to go into um, quotation marks. Uh, and if you want to do numbers, make sure to not put it in quotation marks. So uh, it would be better that way. So we have all this stuff and then we can actually create a table. Now creating a table doesn't uh, necessarily do anything with the data inside the table. Basically what we are doing realistically, we, we are creating just sort of borders uh, for those different cells in some different sort of a way. Now, the way we do that, we get the, the range. So 
This is the same as uh, populating. You can get one cell, but you can get uh, a range of cells. You can do both of these things. So we get the range of cells right here, and then we create a table, uh, which is, again, just basically adding some borders and some background in, into each of those cells. Uh, we can also choose a theme. Now, the themes uh, are those themes that you can sort of uh, have uh, an option uh, in the Excel, when, when you're dealing with Excel, you'll have some option to, to create just uh, basically a table from those themes so you don't have to do it yourself. Uh, however, if you do want to do that, uh, every cell like this, uh, you can modify each cell as well, to some extent at least, uh, uh, by accessing the actual cell. Uh, but for this a video we will stick to just this uh, basic styling and you can choose from those uh, basically generic themes uh, and after that we can add the calculation so we add another uh, little uh, description to to the table to to, to the last cell uh, the last row rather of the table and then to add a formula right here you see we have cell once again we get the cell however because we are adding a formula, we're not using value. We're using formula A1, it's going to be called. So uh, basically, there are some differences here, but uh, just uh, sort of very small ones. So generally, we will use A1. So uh, you use formula rather than value to add a formula into the cell. That is the main difference and something quite important to remember. Uh, and as for the formula itself, it's just a simple Excel formula. So there's nothing C-sharp related in the formula. Whatever you're going to put in those quotation marks, so that will be a formula. It can be the average, it can be sum, it can be something else, uh, uh, whatever it is you're going to put through that. Uh, and of course, uh, if you're going to use something, uh, maybe an if in Excel, so you can probably provide something uh, from C-sharp code. Uh, so maybe you do something like this and provide uh, uh, some variable like that, uh, you could do that as well uh, in some formulas. Obviously, not it's probably not going to be in some, but then you can also dynamically populate and, and provide it like that. So it can be uh, quite a useful arrangement. Uh, uh, now, as for dealing with uh, different rows, you can access uh, that as well. So this particular thing, now this will sort of deal with uh, a certain row. You may or may not want to use that like that. Uh, sometimes it's better to just work with different cells rather than just different uh, or full row because you might have uh, several different tables in that row, so then it won't work anymore. Uh, well, it will work, but uh, it won't. Uh, it will mess with the other tables as well. So make sure you kind of dealt with that. Uh, and it's all good in that regard. Uh, other than that, again, we just get the style we get either row or the cell or whatever, and then we use style, and then in the style we can deal with fonts, we can deal with uh, uh, sizes of a font, uh, we can deal with all kinds of different things, uh, and basically set those parameters uh, to, to whatever is needed. Uh, now finally, in this case, uh, if you go to the Patreon, where you can download this example, and get some free courses uh, along with your subscription, uh, Blazor courses, C sharp courses, uh, different arrangements so there. Uh, you will see that here it's just gonna basically create this file inside uh, the bin where the program is launched. So if you launch on debug, you go to the solution uh, place where it is and you go to bin and you go to debug. That's where it's, where it's gonna be displayed and that's where it's gonna be saved. But obviously, depending on your arrangement, you might. Uh, want to use some environment uh, variables, environment uh, file paths. Uh, uh, you can watch some of the videos uh, that are available uh, regarding the uh, different paths like uh, documents or downloads, uh, wherever you want to save it. But uh, again, the final thing here, we create all this. So basically, we add whatever you, we want to the workbook, and then we use save as with a file path, and that's going to be saved and then you can use it, download it, send it, uh, or do whatever you want. Uh, now, do check out the Patreon where the source code for this will be provided, uh, and take a look at some other videos like generating a Word document. Uh, and with that said, we will conclude this video.